Let's start with a simple question. What if image generation wasn't filtered, wasn't moderated, and didn't decide what you're allowed to imagine? Today, almost every major AI image generator is wrapped in layers of safety rules, content filters, and policy-driven restrictions. Some of that makes sense, but a lot of it limits creativity, research, and legitimate use cases. That's where Zimage comes in. Zimage is an open source image generation model designed to run without hard-coded censorship, without cloud lock-in, and without centralized control. In this video, we'll break down what Zimage is, how it works, why no censorship actually matters, how it compares to mainstream generators, and who should and should not use it. Let's get into it. Zimage is an open source text to image generation model, typically diffusion based, built to be, fully local deployable, transparent in architecture, and free from enforced content moderation layers. Unlike commercial platforms that apply filters before or after generation, Zimage focuses on model capability, not policy enforcement. That means no keyword blocking, no prompt rewriting, no hidden safety classifiers rejecting outputs. You prompt it. The model generates. End of story. This doesn't mean it's illegal by default or chaotic. It means control shifts from the platform to the user. Under the hood, Zimage follows the same modern principles as other diffusion models. Text encoder, your prompt is converted into embeddings using a language model. Latent diffusion process, noise is gradually refined into an image based on your text guidance. Decoder, the latent image is converted into a final, high-resolution output. The difference? Zimage does not include prompt filtering pipelines, safety score thresholds, output rejection loops, cloud-based moderation APIs. Everything runs locally or on self-hosted infrastructure. If you want guardrails, you add them yourself. If you don't, the model doesn't force them on you. Let's clear up a misconception. No censorship does not mean encouraging harm promoting abuse, or ignoring responsibility. What it actually means is no predefined moral policy baked into the model, no centralized authority deciding acceptable imagination, no opaque rules you can't audit or change. This is critical for security research, art and experimental media, historical reconstructions, psychological studies, adversarial AI testing, red team simulations. In cybersecurity and AI research, Restricted models hide real risks. Unfiltered models expose them. Let's compare quickly. Commercial image AI, cloud only, black box moderation, prompts rewritten silently, outputs blocked without explanation, usage logged and tracked. Z image, local or self-hosted, fully inspectable, no silent filtering, no usage telemetry, user controlled ethics. If you're a hobbyist, researcher, or creator who wants full creative autonomy, Zimage feels liberating. If you need compliance guarantees, it's probably not your tool. Zimage is ideal for AI researchers, security professionals, digital artists pushing boundaries, indie developers, academic experimentation, offline or air-gapped environments. It is not ideal for public consumer platforms, child-safe environments, enterprises needing strict compliance, regulated production pipelines. Open source freedom always comes with user responsibility. Zimage doesn't remove ethics. It removes enforced ethics. Zimage represents a growing movement in AI, decentralized, open, user-controlled, and transparent. As AI becomes more powerful, the real question isn't, should AI be censored? It's who gets to decide. Zimage puts that decision back where open source believes it belongs with the user. If you want more deep dives into open AI models and censored tooling and real-world AI security, subscribe, like, and stay curious.